Five, yes. Oh. Earthrise, Apollo 8. They went to the moon, orbited a dozen, 15 times, and then came back, snapped this picture. This was published in 1968, and we see Earth as nature intended us to view it, yeah. like with oceans and mm -hmm. land and clouds. We go to the moon to explore the moon, and we discover Earth for the first time. And I looked at what happened after this photo was taken. In the four years that we were going to the moon, 68, 69, 70, 71, and into 72, five years, excuse me, <laughs> end of 68 into 72, that's when all of this happened. Yeah. Yeah. When was the Environmental Protection Agency founded? 70. 1970, right. okay? When was Earth Day founded? 70. 1970. Right. When we were going to the moon then, and we had other issues in 1970, right. all right? There were assassinations and, and unrest on college campuses, and all of a sudden, people started thinking about Earth. Earth. Right. 1972, the catalytic converter is introduced. Leaded gas is banned. DDT is banned, 1973. All these early years of the decade. The Comprehensive Clean Air Act and Clean Water Act, all was in that period. So I'm thinking, we go to space, and well, why are we going to space? We, we need <laughs> space for uh, There's one other really cool thing about that image. It was, uh, you, know, you know how the NASA missions are so scripted, they, you know, they plot out Yeah, everything. yeah, yeah. That was unanticipated. And, and when you listen to the, the dialogue that took place, it was, hey, get the camera, quick. No one had actually said, hey, we're going to come around the backside of the moon and see the Earth. They didn't it, even think to think I that. And I love the idea that that, that, that appreciation, the, the narrative power of that actually was more important than the mission part of, of it.